today we are going to grab some comfort Filipino food at Manam. We're so excited to eat, so let's go. We've seen this place in so many different malls. We kept eyeing it and today we're like, we just gotta go. But like, look how, okay, beautiful this menu is. Each color is so vibrant. This is one of my favorite pages. Ooh, look at that. It's almost like a coloring book. Like everything looks good, everything looks so vibrant. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, we're in. <laughs> looks so nice in here. Look at this beautiful decor. These arched windows, this greenery. It's so beautiful in here. So I think we're ready to order. We did a lot of research. I looked up what's good, what's popular. A lot of the things on the menu have little parts on it. So those are kind of things that, you know, they recommend that is popular. So we'll definitely be ordering some of those. And we'll be ordering smalls of everything so we can share. And maybe we can get some of these fancy drinks that I'm seeing. Oh my gosh, I hope we have the room. We're definitely gonna get dessert because I already have that picked out and it's um, the person that was out there, um, her favorite dessert, so wait for that. But yeah, we're gonna order, right? This one is a uh, big base. Pork jowl and cheese, yeah. right? Yes. Pork cheese. Big short treats with watermelon. Instead of tamarind, we use uh, watermelon to make the uh, sweet and sour. Right. Okay, so almost all our food has arrived. I'm so excited because I just love the preparation of it. Like when they brought the sisig over, um, the crispy sisig, he like mixed it. Love that they poured the broth for the sinigang. And then this is a delicious salad. Didn't do anything to that, but also this is a small rice. Look at this. That's plenty. <laughs> That's enough for us. So these are all smalls because we wanted to be able to try a bunch of different things. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we got the gising gising, which actually I just found out means wake up, wake up. So how cute is that? Um, love that little fact. So this one is um some veggies cooked in coconut milk with some bagung, which is like a fermented fish or shrimp paste. So very excited for that. We have their special, which is the house crispy sisig, which is pork, um, cheek, and jowl. We've had sisig before, love sisig. This one is sinigang, which we've actually never had before. So this is like a soup. Uh, this one's got, I believe, beef ribs in it, and veggies, some green bean. This twist here is the uh, watermelon, which is typically not what it comes with. This is supposed to be uh, savory and sour, but the watermelon adds a little bit of sweetness. And then this one was a little last minute bonus dish I decided to add. This is uh, baby squid in garlic and oil. I love seafood and then of course the chili that they gave us and we got the rice. So I think we're just going to dig in. Are you excited? Yeah. What a spread. This looks so good. The colors are incredible. Like, I feel like the last time I saw such colorful plates was in Thailand. I'll be honest, I didn't know Filipino food was this colorful and this like exciting and unique. Wow. Okay. Let's get into it. We decided to come at a very strange time so it wouldn't be super busy but it just seems like it's always busy here which tells you how good it is. It is currently 4 o'clock but almost a full house. Okay, so I'm really excited to start with, I think the crispy sissy, because oh, it's still hot because of the little cast iron uh, pan. But, okay, I think this is gonna be my first bite. We've had sissy before, so I'm very curious to see what this sissy is like. I'm just gonna have a little chili with it. 
descriptions of this food sounded so good. I'm so excited. Look at this heaping portion I'm taking here. I thought you were going to take a whole bite of that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was tempted. It's looks so good. I can feel how crispy it is on my spoon. It's still hot on the skillet here. Some chili with it after. Oh my gosh. In your mouth. Oh my gosh. I like sisig before. Right. This is not a sisig that I've had before. I think I've been having it wrong this whole time. <laughs> you is... didn't know sisig <clears throat> until we had this one. That's so crispy. <clears throat> oh, those chilies are good. They're sneaking up on me now. It's porky. It's crispy. Like, think like um, crispy pork belly. That's the kind of crisp we've got going on here. Or almost like a chicharrón, right? Chicharrón, like, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's like fatty, greasy, but then like not overly. Like it's not like super rich. Whoa, I'm going in for a second bite of that. That is incredible. Is it the best sisig you've had? Mm. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, this is the only sisig I've had. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now I'm going to try some of this gising gising. That coconut milk looks so creamy in there. Okay, so I believe there's some ground pork in it, some veggie, long bean, coconut milk, that uh, fermented shrimp or fish paste that we talked about. never had anything that looks like this before. Today. I want to be you right now, yeah. trying this for the first time. I miss who I was five minutes ago. Just a moment ago. So we've had coconut-based items here. We've had Kang Kong before. But I never had it like this. Mm. What a perfect follow-up follow -up to that. This is fresh. This is light. Mm. It's got that a very strong coconut flavor to it. A little bit of a crispiness to it in the uh, with the crispy serum. Yeah, it is so fresh. I like them a lot. And I mean, if you think we're exaggerating, we're not. We're very honest with our food reviews. We will tell you if something's okay, not our favorite, but everything here so far. Like, like these are refined flavors. Look at this portion. I'm gonna take a little acceptable bite. Oh my gosh, look how soft. That was way too easy. This place is amazing. and tried all these unique dishes but this time I was like we gotta do it right and like I'm so impressed. This is like comfort food but this is like elevated comfort food. Yes, totally. Like this is this feels fancy. Whoever's this feels... cooking this back there they know what they're doing. I want to shake their hand. <laughs> okay this is looks so interesting. Well you can see the kind of the fat coming yeah. off of it right there. It is just falling apart on my spoon here. One more of those watermelons here. My mouth is still watering from that CC. Oh my gosh. I know, I can't wait for you to finish trying everything so we can just get into it. Get into it. So, beef in soup, I'm used to it being like super well done. I'm not used to seeing like redness in the beef. Mm. That's like a medium rare piece of beef there. Wow. Whoa. We're on a culinary adventure today. Whoa. I had a thought of what I expected this to be. Right. 
I was way, way off. That beef is so tender. So, so good. It's like perfectly cooked. That watermelon, it's a watermelon flavor, but it's like, yeah, light it complements it so perfectly. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just right? it's so good. It's a little bit sour, a little bit savory, just like they said, but the meat is so perfect with it. Such a good balance. Okay, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> so this has some chilies in it. Which is very exciting. And we're gonna get dessert too. Oh my gosh, okay. The squid is so soft. That garlic and that oil, perfect balance. I love the spice in there that it already comes with. With a little bit of green onion, that little bit of crispy on top just adds a little bit of like depth of crunch. This is the best meal I've had in the Philippines so far, for sure. I'm gonna get a big chunk here with a lot of crispies <laughs> and a lot of oil. No rice. So tender. <clears throat> Took his breath away and his voice. <clears throat> a little bit spicy, this one. Yeah, that's why I was like, no rice? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, oh, so garlicky, so oily. Seafood taste is like light and gentle, but it's, it's apparent. It's there. Oh gosh. What's your favorite? I gotta go with the CC. Right, I think so. Like I said, I loved this dish before coming here. Now I love it even more, but my goodness, like what a culinary adventure. I've never tried anything like any of these. We did a great job ordering, hey? Yeah. We. <laughs> All that research paid off. Yeah, I'm ready to just devour this and we will see you for dessert. Maybe drinks. We'll see what our stomach space is looking like, but whoa. For dessert, I think we're going to get Duron. Shout out to you and Mark. One of our really great friends, he introduced it to us and we were like, we have to have it in the Philippines because he got it for us in Canada. But this one has mango and quesong puti, which is kind of um, a cheese, upon my research with ice cream. It looks like this and like, it looks like the right size to share. We are stuffed. That was amazing, but we had our hearts set on that dessert. So we're gonna do that too. So I'm excited, but wish us luck. <laughs> we also really wanted one of these but I just, we can't, we don't have any room left. We can possibly fit this dessert in, yeah. that's about it. But we've been seeing these drinks all over the restaurant and they look so, they look better than the picture actually in yes. real life, so. Well, I guess you just might have to come back and eat again without filming, I'm okay with that. Yeah, aw shucks. <laughs> How are you doing over there? I can't believe you ordered dessert. <laughs> I knew we would be eating, but I feel great. <laughs> I love being full of delicious food. And uh, the ice cream from the desserts gonna, I think, tie it all together. It's always so incredible how these tiny little portions and plates add up to so much food in the end. Like when you're ordering, you're like, oh, it's just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And you get in front of you, it's not too bad. But as you're eating it, yeah, it expands. I'm also really grateful that we're walking home because yeah. I could use a walk after this and then I was saying maybe a, ma a nap. Could I entice you in a nap? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you could. Because I'm in a food coma right now. One thing that's really cool in this restaurant is they mold these tables based on the party size and there's so many big families coming in. Yeah. Again, this is just a Friday afternoon. You'd expect this behavior on like a Sunday. But yeah, you got full families of like seven, eight people and they're just like putting these tables together like they're Lego to fit your party size. Uh, it's really cute. I really love that about the Philippines. Like Family style meals. Yeah. Every, everywhere people go, they go as a family it seems like. It's very cute. Very family oriented for sure. Yeah. And this is also, I already knew this because the friends that I have that are Filipino back home are friends, not yes, my yes. friends specifically. <laughs> um, they're all very family oriented too. Okay, sir, this oh. is uh, the Talia Chip pen. I will give you this one for you. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> Sweet. And we were both like 
a little worried. We're like, we didn't order this. Oh. He's like, oh, this is complimentary. He's That's like, I'm gonna so, give this to you. That is so kind. This looks so good. This is something I actually wanted to try here in the Philippines too. That's crazy because I looked up what are like the most popular national desserts for the Philippines. Yeah, it was either halo halo. Yes. We've got plans to get that a little in the next video. Yep. It was the flan or this other dessert. We're like, let's go with that one because it's more photogenic and all this. And what do you know? That Filipino hospitality coming through.
we're getting such a treat today. We walked right out of that wonderful meal to that fire show. And then we get this beautiful sunset happening over here between the buildings. Wow. <laughs> the bill came to 1100 pesos. Um, there was a service tax which came to, service charge I should say, came to 1183. So that was the total cost of the meal. So that's about 20 US dollars at this wow. time for that wow. feast. That was amazing. Um, that was one of the best restaurant experiences I think I've had in recent memory. That was like every dish was fantastic. Yeah, highly recommend. Now I want to go back and try the rest of the dishes that we didn't try. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, if you enjoyed watching us and coming along, please do subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. You made this all, of course. That's my first shot. Hold on. At least it wasn't me this time. <laughs>